Alex here back today with a video but before getting into it please make sure you don't forget to hit that red subscribe button it's free it doesn't cost a thing and all it takes is one simple click of the button it helps out the channel massively in terms of growing and moving forward this year so please make sure you subscribe to the channel that would be much appreciated and I also like to thank those who have recently subscribed to the channel um, it is really much appreciated so yeah, um, thanks guys to those who have subscribed to the channel. Now also don't forget as well to hit the thumbs up on the video. Click the thumbs up button. Hit that like button. Turn on the bell so you don't miss a notification when I upload a new video or do a live stream. And also don't forget to go and check out me on social media. The social media platforms are on the screen down below. But let's get into it. Now, I'm going to talk about Chanel Harris Tavita. Now, there is a lot of talk around where Chanel will be playing for the Warriors this season. Now, we've got the likes of Ash Taylor and Sean Johnson at the club this year. And Chanel Harris Tavita in the offseason, there's lots of rumours around him, you know, whether the Warriors are going to keep him from. You know, after this season, whether the Warriors will keep him after the, from the season. And Chanel Harris Tavita is off contract um, currently at the end of this year. So, look, Chanel's got a big, big year coming up. He's got to, you know, show that he, he want, that the Warriors want to keep him. That look, He's got to show that. And, look, to be honest, I think he cops a bit of stick, Chanel Harris Tavita. And I think last year he was very unfortunate. He had a lot of injuries, you know, and when he got came back and played, and he wasn't able to build consistent combinations on the field because, you know, he wasn't fully fit. And Shinaris Tavita, look, I know he's had plenty of years in the NRL already. He's had plenty of time to get acclimatized to the NRL and acclimatized to playing first grade. But Shinaris Tavita hasn't had a consistent, you know, halves pairing. When he's played, to be honest, he hasn't. So he's played alongside Cody. He's played alongside Chad Townsend. And yeah, he's just not had those consistent um, halves pairing. His defensive game is very good. He's very good defensively. He's he stepped up in that category on the field. Yes, his running game and his general kicking game can improve. No doubt about it. I've got no doubt that Chanel harris Tavita can improve that going into this year with the likes of Sean Johnson and Ash Taylor running around at the club. So I think Chanel harris Tavita should be given more and more opportunities and more and more chances in first grade this year as a whole because he is so young and he's got massive potential, Chanel harris Tavita. He's just got to, you know, step up and improve on, on the areas that he needs to improve on and no doubt he can do that for me. And... Um, Running game, obviously, like I said, running game is probably something he needs to look at moving forward. But I think that having the likes of Sean Johnson there can help him improve and get better because Sean Johnson's a leader and yeah, he can help out Chanel Harris to beat it in his game as well. But let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Chanel Harris to beat it. Um, do you expect him to be in the first grade side this year? Uh, more regularly, do you think he'll be starting or do you think he'll be on the bench? Is he a halfback? There's people talking him up as a hooker or as well. There's a lot of people talking about him as a hooker or maybe put him in the forwards. But for me, Chanel has to be, if he's playing in the first grade side, he has to be a starting halfback in the Warriors team moving forward. That's, that's it from my personal point of view. But obviously, we've got Ash Taylor there. There's going to be competition in the preseason trials. So we will find out in the preseason in the next couple of weeks, not long until preseason, with the first game against the Melbourne Storm. And um, the second game, preseason game, is against the Gold Coast Titans. So we'll find out in those two preseason trials what sort of combinations they will be and will they be the combinations for round one against the St. George Illawarra Dragons in March. But like I said, let me know what you guys think. Chanel Harris Tavita, what are you expecting from him heading into this season? And uh, where do you think he will be best suited in the squad in general? And also, don't forget to make sure you don't forget to subscribe to the channel. That would be much appreciated. Hit that resubscribe button down below. Click it. Click that resubscribe button. 
turn on the bell so you don't miss a notification when I upload a new video and a live stream you'll find out when I upload the next and also don't forget to hit the thumbs up click the thumbs up click that like button on the video but thanks guys for watching also go check out my social media platforms they are on the screen right there and um yeah guys i'll think i'll see you guys in the next video and um thanks for watching and uh yeah tonight join me on hold the balls youtube channel at 7 30 queensland time 8 30 new south wales time um 10 30 pm new zealand time for a discussion on his channel thanks guys